And some sweet news to tell you about. The bakery known for its delectable cakes like the Triple Berry is coming back. All locations of Sweet Lady Jane suddenly closed last year. Now with new owners, the goal is to bring back the bakery with all the magic of the old shop. There's a new sign on the door of Sweet Lady Jane Santa Monica. We are coming back. Last year, loyal customers were shocked when the bakery shut down. So suddenly, cakes remained in the display case and customers were left empty-handed. Today's my birthday and no birthday cake. And nobody called. But now the same shop is showing signs of life. Matt Clark and Julie New are the new owners and giving Sweet Lady Jane a fresh look while keeping the recipes exactly the same. Before buying the business and renegotiating the location leases, the partners needed to ensure the recipes would be as good as everyone remembered. We had to make it in large batch, batches. Is this it? And in small batches, is this it? So we did a lot of testing before we said, okay, before I signed the lines and said, this is it. We're going to do this. It's fitting that New should be the one to preserve and grow Sweet Lady Jane. She grew up in the bakery business. We struggled, William, grew up, you know, as immigrants. Yeah. Um, so that was our babysitter. The bakery was our daycare. Her family opened Pacific Bakery nearly 40 years ago. There are four locations now, and the bread is so popular, this was the line on Thanksgiving. Julie remembers visiting Sweet Lady Jane and wishing that someday she would have a place with the same charm and delicious delicacy. The beginning of the dream started to come true New Year's Eve. I turned on the news and it said, Sweet Lady Jane closed. I was like, what? How did that happen? What's going on? You know, like just a whirlwind of questions. And I turned to my partner and I go, hey, wouldn't it be crazy if we bought it? And he's like, yeah, why don't we? The Santa Monica location and three others should open in March. Two others will follow in April. She's hoping that former employees will want to come back and claim she has no idea what prompted the sudden closures. Instead, she's focused on the future. I'm going to get emotional, but I'm like verge of tears because I, I, when you're realizing your dream, it's really coming true. You just, you can't believe it.